Sometimes you have to evaluate the player and the person and the money and the drama. And that's kind of where I think the Cowboys are on the idea of Cole Beasley. Mike Fisher reporting from Frisco, where the Dallas Cowboys getting ready for veterans and rookies at OTAs. And the first crack in terms of what the Cowboys are going to do at wide receiver involves the people that are already here. And when we talk about, oh, well, what about a slot receiver? That involves the people who are already here, too, all the way up to C.D. Lamb on the top of the totem pole. Now, James Washington looks like somebody who's built to play in the slot. It's not something he's done a lot of, but I wonder if he can. Uh, Tolbert, intellectually, not to mention physically, looks like somebody that, as he learns and learns, can play in the slot. Uh, and so I, I think, and I'm not saying that it's passe now to say we got to have a little guy who gets open in space in the slot, that there's still a place for that. But the Cowboys have kind of leaned another way with bigger bodies. And uh, if you look at the Cowboys receiving needs, because they have all these big bodies, oh, excuse me, they have all these big bodies, uh, they can use some speed at wide receiver. And Cole Beasley, the former Cowboy, who was very productive when he was here, and then went and made his money in Buffalo, uh, and now is on the street, uh, the Bills having said goodbye to him, at least for now, uh, does not provide size, and he doesn't provide over-the-top speed. And then there's something else. And again, Cole Beasley's position on COVID and vaccinations, everybody has the right to think what they want, but the employer is the one in charge of the employee. That's the way it is where I work, and that's the way it is when you work for the Buffalo Bills or the Dallas Cowboys or whomever. Um, so that bit of drama was clearly bothersome to some. Uh, when he left Dallas, and of course he's a native of Little Elm uh, and played at SMU, he took some shots at how Buffalo's facility is what a real facility is supposed to look like. That was odd. And um, here in Buffalo, it's just about football, not about showbiz. I'm paraphrasing. That comment wasn't odd. <laughs> There's some truth to it. Uh, but that doesn't mean that the Cowboys have to be enamored with the idea of Cole doing that. Now, uh, when we need football players, all sorts of things are forgiven. So I don't think that, that the comments and the drama and all that kind of stuff, I don't think that's a driving force here. I think the Cowboys believing that they're going to give the first crack uh, to even slot receiver position to guys on the roster, I think that's the driving force. I wonder why, and I wonder if it isn't the COVID vaccine, is that why Cole Beasley is still on the shelf? Um, he's not uh, 25 anymore. Uh, he's never been a take the top off receiver, obviously. He's smallish. And now to some people, not, not, not necessarily me and not necessarily you, to some people he's viewed as controversial. And I think all those things add up to Beasley probably getting a call, I bet you, when we get to training camp uh, and there's an injury need. And I don't predict that that call comes from the Cowboys. In Frisco with the Dallas Cowboys, Fish out.